Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video I want to do a comparison between the Honor 50 against the Huawei Nova 9. A camera comparison that is. So let's get started. So here we have the camera systems. As you can see here it looks very very similar. In fact, I can this here the white thing is the Honor 50 and the blue thing is the Nova 9. In fact, I can even put the white case on the Nova 9. It fits 100%. Do they have then also the same camera system? Not completely. Because the main sensor on the Honor 50, the Honor 50 is 108 megapixels, a Samsung sensor and the Nova 9 features a 50 megapixel RYYB sensor IMX 766 from Sony. So they have a different main camera that produces probably also differences in terms of photos and videos. Otherwise we have an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle which seems to be the same as well as the two 2 megapixel cameras for depth and macro. So this is the same setup. You can see there's also a flash tool tone flash I think it is and yeah this is basically the camera system and I will show you the specs as well here on the screen so you can decide which one has won the spec war. We start this comparison in terms of videography with the front facing 32 megapixel camera on the Honor 50 and I missed in my camera comparison to list the front cameras but they are exactly the same both uh, 32 megapixels probably the same sensor as well. This is 1080p 60 frames per second and the quality that you can get with the Honor 50. This is the wide mode on the camera. I can also crop into one times which looks like this and stabilization and colors should be nice as well. This cropping is probably mostly used for photos so if you have uh, portrait or landscape mode it switches automatically between the one times or white mode and for vlogging I think the white option is a little bit better because you get more in the frame and yeah both I think are good for vlogging but let's compare it with the Nova 9. Now same stairs, same options, same localization um, on the Nova 9. The Nova 9 does not have this uh, crop feature that the Honor 50 has. So I only get this kind of close-up, which is I think the same as the one times zoom a little bit or something in between what the Honor 50 has to offer. How is stabilization, how are colors and how is the overall look and feel of 1080p 60 frames per second on this 32 megapixel camera shooter on the Nova 9. By the way, I'm using an external microphone attached to the device because it produces the best sound and both feature the option to record via an external audio source if you have a USB Type-C dongle attached to it uh, that allows for three and a half millimeter microphones. So we will switch now to the uh, back facing camera also 1080p 60 and take a look at that. This is now the main back camera 108 megapixel on the Honor 50 and 1080p 60 frames per second. You can not zoom out in 60 frames per second to the ultra wide angle because the ultra wide angle doesn't support this fast readout of the sensor. So this is the only thing that you can expect in terms of uh, quality, stabilization, colors and so on. What I noticed with the Honor 50 is there is sometimes like a bit of like a black shadow around me about the focused area, which I don't know why that is. It's maybe some kind of sensor problem or it is maybe using one of the depth sensors to detect the depth uh, for better focusing. I'm not sure. If you know what it is, write it down in the comment section. Otherwise, high dynamic range, hard to test. It's a very cloud day, cloudy day right now. But this is what you can expect in terms of uh, stabilization. Let's walk down the stairs and uh, through this little garden here to see how the stabilization works, how the focusing works and so on, how the audio quality is via the 
has the same microphone attached so it should be not much of a difference um, this is what you can expect um, for vlogging i think i like it it's a little bit the color thing and this black thing might be a bit irritating but it's a good vlogging setup if you want to vlog with the main back camera now same situation same walkway same pathway with the nova 9 and it's 50 megapixel ryyb sensor that should be gathering a little bit more light due to the yellow yellow uh, array there and what you see right now is also 1080p 60 frames per second how is stabilization how are colors how is white balance i'm walking again over the stairs here and we will see how this will look like in terms of stabilization as well so 1080p 60 frames per second means i can also not go to the ultra wide angle here right now because it does not support this how are colors how are, is stabilization of this 50 megapixel sensor and what we will do right now is we will switch to 4k 30 that will be downscale to 1080p and then 60 because it's 60 timeline and then we will see how the ultra wide angles of the nova 9 and the honor 50s do otherwise this is the sample of the nova 9 i'm doing this with my hands to see is there any black shadowing that i had on the on a 50 here as well on the nova 9 i think it is not so this is now 4k 30 frames per second on the nova 9 and you might see that i did not switch to the ultra wide angle because i want to show you a feature that is not available on the on a 50 which is the option to zoom out during recording so i can zoom now to the ultra wide angle 8 megapixel uh, 4k 30 frames per second lens that works fine as well and this is what we get in terms of stabilization and colors and i'm climbing up the hill again the stairs so i'm doing a little bit of training here and uh, this is what you can get with the uh, nova 9 i think the nova 9 has a good performance here and in terms of videography it's i think a notch over the honor 50 and uh, at least i like it more the colors and the stabilization and uh, yeah overall i think it produces the better pictures but what do you think and now we are back on the honor 50 this is however 1080p 30 because the honor 50 doesn't do 4k 30 with the ultra wide angle so now i have 1080p 30 frames per second and in 1080p 30 frames per second i can also zoom out no i cannot zoom out I'm trying to zoom out i thought i can zoom out no you cannot switch camera lenses during recording at all so what i have to do is just stop the recording here and now i switch to the ultra wide angle 80 uh, 8 megapixels and 1080p 30 frames per second because it cannot do 4k so this is a bummer i would say on the honor 50 that you don't have the option to uh, switch on the fly during recording between the main and the ultra wide angle some kind of limitation that honor should maybe address with a software update as well as maybe optimize a little bit the stabilization though both are good in stabilization but colors are might be a little bit off here and there uh, what do you think which one has the better quality oh, okay 4k against 1080p i think it's clear that the nova 9 has a edge over the honor 50 uh, now we are in vlog mode or multicam mode like honor calls it it's an option where i can record my front here the 1080p 30 frames per second of course and i can also switch to the back and now you can see the back the issue that i noticed on the on a 50 for some reason since the last update is some oversteering in terms of uh, audio quality so the microphone is super super loud for some reason um, i'm not sure if this is still the case uh, let's try out how the Nova 9 performs in this uh, vlog mode. Now this is what I see, this is the background here, the little hill that I'm climbing and the little stairs. And now also vlog mode, it's vlog really on the uh, Huawei Nova 9 and I can also switch between the front cam that is filming me right now cam and there you can see a car passing by i think stabilization is working a little bit better in this multi-cam or vlog mode 
and here you can see the hill that I usually walk up and this little test and I can switch again and I hope the audio is uh, working fine here so some issue on the Honor 50 the Honor 50 didn't have this issue before the last update so I think um, it's some kind of uh, yeah, temporary issue that will be fixed with a future update again I'd have this issue and it's working fine uh, the cool thing is in the Nova 9 I can switch to the ultra wide angle here even if I want to to myself here switch back to the standard I can also zoom in a little bit you can see how stable this is and how good this works I really really like this setup for being this is pretty pretty nice and pretty powerful and I think here again Huawei in terms of camera software in terms of vlog mode has a slight edge over the Honor 50 Another thing the Nova 9 does better than the Honor 50 is it offers pro mode also for video. So I have my shutter speed now set to 1 over 125 or 1 over 125th because uh, I cannot set it over 1, 1 over 120th which would be the best for 60 frames per second recording here at 1080p but still this works fine and you get like a more a natural kind of blur in your hands and so on if you wobble them around so more cinematic like a video that you can shoot if you want to with the Nova 9 because it has this pro mode for video that the uh, Honor uh, misses so what we want to do now is uh, I will take some shots and we will compare the shots right now with the main cam with the ultra wide angle the macro cam as well so let's see how they do perform in terms of photos here are the photos and I really really would like to show you photos in sunshine and so on but it is winter time here right now in Cologne Germany so we only get those gloomy looking shots on the left we have the nova 9 on the right we have the honor 50. what we can see here on first glance is that we have a little bit of wider field of view on the honor 50 in comparison to the nova 9 you can see that here i was a little bit too far left so we have the backlight almost completely in here not but we can see here is the car and here we don't see any car so we have a difference 27 millimeters on the Nova 9 and uh, 23 millimeters on the Honor 50 so which is like the field of view that you will get which is a bit higher on the Honor 50 when it comes to colors what we can see here we have a little bit of brighter red color here on the Nova 9 and on the Honor 50 a little bit darker colors uh, sharpness and so on almost looks the same there's nothing much uh, of a difference there when we take a look at the background the background is blurred out it's a little bit more blurred out on the honor 50 when it comes to sharpness on uh, this seat you can see that the nova 9 retains a little bit more of details here especially in those uh, little scuffs around the seat that you can see or on top of the seat that is smoothed out on the honor 50 that you don't see so much so a little bit more details there when it comes to macro photography or super macro mode uh, first of all you can get pretty close with the main lens a little bit closer with the nova 9 because of its photo length close-up shots and bokeh look nice but on first glance what you can see here we have a warmer color on the nova 9 and we have a bit more cooler color tone on the honor 50 the honor 50 does not nail the color as much as the nova 9 here in this shot because the green here was really this green and if i zoom in you can see wow it's pretty sharp and you get like lots and lots of details you get even like foreground blur and background blur and then in the middle is sharp this is why i like to use the main cameras with its large larger sensors to do such close-up shots we also get this here on the honor 50 honor 50 i think has a slight different kind of focusing point so it is not focusing on this in particular it's a little slightly out of focus it's focusing here but we also get like uh, sharpness um, out of focus sharpness here uh, or no sharpness out of focus area in the front and in the back but you can see the color difference here uh, in particular so it's more cooled down when we take a look at the bokeh we can see it looks a bit more smoother on the nova 9 a bit more busy on the honor 50. 
Close-up shots, let's take a look at the dedicated macro lens and this is interesting, here they switch sides, the Nova 9 is a bit more cooled down and the Honor 50 a little bit warmer, the Honor 50 then of course the more accurate colors, also I think in terms of sharpness um, they have like the same kind of, uh, do we have the same kind of, yeah they have the same kind of uh, lens for macro photography and you really have to nail it to make it like uh, ultra sharp and I think I did manage in both to nail it here, just that we have a little bit of cooler exposure on the Nova 9 and a little bit warmer on the Honor 50 which is better. But otherwise it's a macro lens, not much of a difference. Now a little zoom in shot to see differences. Uh, this by the way are people waiting for a testing center to get their COVID tests. Uh, done. I'm not sure why it's there, if they want to go to this restaurant that is there in the back. But what we can see here with the restaurant there in the back is it looks a lot sharper on the Honor 50 already. So for some reason we have a little bit more sharpness on the Honor 50 in comparison to the Nova 9. Now the question is, is this true sharpness or is this a sharpening filter? And I have reasons to believe that this might be a sharpening filter but let's take a look first of all at the ultra wide shots to see what's going on here and here we can see like a catastrophe on the Nova 9 and on the Honor 50 yeah a little bit darker exposure uh, but uh, also like white balance changed a little bit you can see it's blue now instead of like this, this uh, yellowish kind of so both not good but what happened with the Nova 9 it looks like underwater camera and it's so yellow uh, almost like I had a filter on it and uh, this is something that I had with every shot on the Nova 9's ultra wide angle uh, not in video mode but in, in photo mode it just like it looks like it is a black and white photo and you can see it completely here it's like a little bit too blue on the Honor 50 definitely but here you can see color <laughs> And the Nova 9 looks like it is in shot in summer or something like this and the color is painted in later on it which is like yeah wrong so both are not good in ultra wide shots but uh, at least the Honor 50 gets the colors somehow right but the Nova 9 is like it's not far apart from the exposure here from the white balance I mean but what happened with the colors I don't know it looks like desaturated colors and there's no colors in the cars almost which is like a bit weird and the Honor 50 maybe puts a little bit too much punch in to the colors but it's very weird on the ultra wide angle let's take a look at the zoom capabilities of both 50 megapixel on the Nova 9 crop in zoom against 108 megapixels on the Honor 50 the clear winner should be the Honor 50 and it is so so when you take a look here we can first of all see that both use some kind of sharpening filter but uh, we have a little bit more sharpness and we have a bit more detail on the Honor 50 thanks to the larger megapixels that it uses for, sharp for zooming in but it also has more sharpening applied than the Nova 9 uh, and this also happens on the main lens so what we saw on the main lens we can see also in the zoom in shots and we can see it here also very clearly it looks a bit mushy already on the Nova 9 on the Honor 50 it's definitely over sharpened but it's a good shop, shot for a five times zoom and if I zoom in yeah you can see details still there and you can see it's over sharpening and stuff but it's no comparison to the Nova 9 that is like um, totally unusable for five times zoom shots already then 10 times zoom shots both can go 10 times zoom shots and uh, again I would say yeah emergency usage or something like this if you don't go to 100% on the Honor 50 it's fine on the Nova 9 not so much so zoom in shot clearly the Honor 50 is the winner here then let's take a look at the main lens again and we can see the difference between the RYYB sensor and the Honor 50's um, a normal RGGB sensor that we have a slightly more uh, brightened up exposure on the Nova 9 so the photo looks a little bit more uh, brighter more pleasant to the eye maybe a bit more yellowish maybe as well when we take a look at the sharpness on first glance you might see okay the Honor 50 is more sharp but when you look in closer you will see that it is artificial sharpening plus a little bit more pixels that it uses for uh, creating the photo so really here in case um, the Honor 50 I think 
is sharper but sharpness is not all and i think the more natural look you will get with the nova 9 uh, but uh, yeah for sharpness definitely the honor 50 it is doing over sharpness you can see this here in the trees which definitely not does not do, do not look so sharp but here with the entrance and so on you can see it is also a lot sharper on the honor 50 so there is this more in in, in pixels and more um, that helps here with the sharpness on the honor 50 definitely definitely if you pixel peep like this when it comes to close-up shots like uh, and colors in general like we have the autumn colors here again i think the honor 50 has a little bit uh, darker exposure again the nova 9 a bit lighter exposure we can see some overblowing highlights here in the background when it comes to details and such things it's almost the same which one do you prefer the more accurate one is the one on the left because the colors were not so punchy not so orangey but more like a slight yellow um, uh, not punchy yellow but a slight yellow like on the nova 9 so here the colors are uh, more accurate but look more yeah, it looks cooler on the on the honor 50 i have to say let me take a look at uh, some other shots here again we can see the more brighter shot on the nova 9 and the more cooled down shot or the darker exposure on the honor 50 which one is more realistic in this case i would say the honor 50 does a little bit too much in terms of darkening and punching a little bit of uh, too much um, green in here when we'll take a look at here the uh, nova 9 has the more realistic color and uh, when we take a look at the bench for example and details there you can see again the difference in terms of uh, photo length uh, we see more realistic color here also on the background when you can see white and red and we have uh, a little bit more punchy red here on the honor 50 the nova 9 has not only a slightly brighter photo but also the more realistic colors when we take a look at the next one which is pretty interesting when i saw the so shot on the phone i was immediately like what's going on on the nova 9 and uh, i thought like it is doing a little bit too much with this color here but believe me i was there this is the realistic color that what the nova 9 does what the honor 50 does is like tuning down the color because it thinks this um stadium uh, firefighter stadium i think it is or something like this or some conference room i don't know what they're doing there um firefighters cologne uh, they have the so it's a build, building of them they have a more darker red color for some reason here and it's not realistic it looks maybe a little bit more realistic but you can see the punch here also in the green it's like too dark the exposure the nova 9 is also punching the greens a little bit has the brighter exposure has the more realistic exposure here definitely and what we can see also is then uh, this is without ai enabled and for the next shot i just for the sake of it enabled ai and do you see any difference <laughs> like this is uh, besides like maybe slightly change in, in the angle of view but in terms of colors um i don't see much of a difference maybe on the r50 a little bit of uh is it like a little bit of brighter no so here we can see also with the ai enabled for some reason the nova 9 maybe i was like shaking a bit is a li little less sharp and we have a lot sharp more sharp exposure on the honor 50 but the honor 50 it's too dark it's too dark and uh, the nova 9 has the more realistic colors in this shot and uh, it is surprising because usually it looks a little bit unnatural to have such an orange kind of building but it is really this orange uh, kind i just checked two times three times because i could also not believe it and uh, now we come to night shots and this is like a catastrophe on the honor 50 when you compare it just with a normal photo mode so this is dark almost no light only a slim bit of light coming in and normal photo mode no night mode extra activated or something like this ai is activated on both and this is the shot that you can get and you can see the power of the ryyb sensor on the nova 9 it's just like eliminating everything you can see everything it's just like a night shot and i can zoom in you can see it's even sharp if i do then on the honor 50 a night shot this is how it looks like in night mode you can see still the nova 9 has with its normal photo mode the brighter exposure when we zoom in 100 percent here 
you can see there's a lot of noise on the Honor 50 and artifacting going on. You can still read both things, but it's like the clear winner is the Nova 9. And the Nova 9 is just using its main camera. If I go to the next photo, you can see almost no difference at all. Maybe a slight bit more of sharpness because it's stitching together the things. Um, and maybe some artifacts you can see as well here in its night mode itself. But let's go back. This is the normal photo mode. This is night mode almost no difference and it's a big difference when you take photos and a black photo here on the honor 50 again in normal photo mode you don't see anything on the honor 50 here in this room because there's only a slight slit where light comes in everything else is black in this uh, bathroom scene that i'm photographing here and we have correct colors on the nova 9 which is interesting a little bit yellow oops a little bit yellowish maybe on the uh, nova 9 so we get see here the white tiles are ah, they have a little bit of yellowish glow to it but it's sharp it's not as sharp as i would like it to be to read everything here but it's a night and day difference and even if i go to night mode now with the honor 50 i can stay with the normal mode i can also go to night mode on the uh, nova 9 you can see if i go to night mode on the nova 9 we get a little bit more of a sharpness here bit more of yellowish glowing on the tiles here in the background i think the white here is okayish but it's a night and day difference the nova 9 literally can make out of a dark scene where you cannot see the bottle with your own eyes daylight photo so night view basically and the honor 50 yeah it tries its best but it is uh, fighting with uh, weapons that are not very sharp other night shots uh, also again the same thing when you shoot something with um, bright lights um, normal photo mode on both of them here and you can see it's very dark it's grainy on the honor 50 and uh, there is a little bit of grain definitely it is also uh, dark but not as dark as on the honor 50 uh, in normal photo mode when we take a look at the night mode shot you can see it's getting a bit of yellowish tint because of the ryy so yellow uh, kind of uh, shot so it's getting a bit yellowish here uh, but there is also yellow light as you can see here brightness spots uh, are handled okay i would say the bright lights here of the car are okay the cars are moving as you can see there's no blur this tram is moving and there is blur on the there's even blur here on this ladies uh, cycling around on the honor 50 so the stitching is a bit more intelligent on the nova 9 even with night mode and then again uh, a photo without night mode on both and you can see the difference already let's go to night mode on the honor 50 honor 50 comes a lot becomes a lot better there's of course this is a glow of this uh, of this um, uh, lamp here and you can see it's a slightly less pronounced on the honor 50 and it's a little bit harsher on the nova 9 i can go to the night shot now uh, it doesn't change the harshness here of this light and it doesn't change much of, of of difference in in terms of details but what you can see is like there's more details on the nova 9 shot still we can see this here in the background when we take a look at the garage door uh, you can see the lines of each of the segments of the garage door we don't see that here on the honor 50 even go to back go to the to the other photo without night mode you don't it's like a blob it's like the noise reduction uh, yeah reduced this almost completely you don't see it and here with night mode on on the nova 9 you can see it completely if i go back without night mode this is slightly worse you can see there's a little bit of blobbing going on here where you don't see it completely um, but it is yeah, amazing what the Nova 9 can do in night mode and I think also you saw it in, in video night mode or will see it in video night mode as well next shot uh, normal mode again we can see the Nova 9 is like in normal mode like night mode mode and uh, on a 50 normal mode is like almost nothing you can see in this um, pharmacy sign there is a little sign of i think it is a uh, it is uh, some kind of snake and uh, some other maybe farmers pharmacists can tell me what what this sign is what's a sign for medicine or something like this is inside of this a for for apotheke for pharmacy uh, german for pharmacy 
Uh, and you can see it slightly here on the Nova 9. You can also slightly see it here on the Honor 50 a little bit. If you know that's there, you can take a look at it. But you can see the difference in exposure, overexposing highlights and so on. This is a big difference. When we turn on night mode on the Honor 50, it looks more like the Nova 9. But still, even with the night mode on the Honor 50, you can see this, this sign is completely gone there. So the detail is lost there. If I go to the uh, night mode on the Honor 50, on the Nova 9, I mean, I still have this preserved, so it's still there, the detail is there. It, it does look a little bit darker, I think even, it's a little bit brighter, but also slightly different like exposure as well, you can see it's a little bit brighter even here, the light, even though the light doesn't change uh, much. Uh, so yeah, this is what we can see here. And uh, then the next shot, again without night mode, and we can see like uh, the overexposure here, on the signs, not so much on uh, the Nova 9. It's still very harsh light, but it's a lot better. And we can see it here, also the sharpness and details uh, when it comes to showing what's going on. Basically, the Nova 9 is a light, night mode or light mode killer. And in, in this um, shot, we can see here also that yeah the night mode can correct some of the issues that nova uh, the honor 90 uh, honor 50 has uh, but not everything uh, ultra wide angles on both they like i said we have problems with uh, the ultra wide angle uh, in in daylight with colors on the nova 9 but in night mode i think it looks better on the nova 9 we can see here also this church photograph uh, photography where the Honor 50 is like having uh, problems with the noise. It has a wider field of view again for some reason. We have a lot more noise. We can see the, 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 the night lamp here. We don't see it here so much on the Nova 9 and it's like the rest is like almost this, it's exactly the same as you can see a narrow field of view on the Nova 9. It's a bit more greenish here on the Nova 9. Um, you see the grain, you have the sharpness and here it is a denoising yeah, here, especially in the windows, you can see it's, it's like sharp and you can see some stuff, details again, and the details are lost here in the Honor 50. Of course, also because it has a wider field of view, that might play also a role here. But we have also like in general here it is black, like it should be because it's dark, and here it is like bluish, dark bluish kind of, um, which is a bit weird. Then with the main cams, the difference is also um, visible in terms of uh, field of view. Again, narrow field of view on the Nova 9, a light, slightly higher exposure on the Nova 9, and we can see a bit more yeah, of details on the Nova 9 again. So night mode is definitely the Nova 9 uh, who wins here, hands down. Also bright. Um, here it's interesting that the Honor 50 with its uh, night mode on, didn't want to compare it without night mode on has I think one in terms of uh, not overexposing this shot here but you can tell me what you think about uh, this here who's uh, better in this uh, kind of lighting this is also slight green this is a bit darker green I think uh, the Nova 9 is punching the colors a little bit we have a little bit more of a brighter exposure here and a bit darker exposure there we can go to the two times shot as well to see that the Nova, uh, the Honor 50 is better. Uh, I think in this exposure you can e almost read what's written there. And on the Nova 9 you cannot, it's just like overexposed. And uh, yeah, it's also more sharpening going on as well on the Honor 50 and the Nova 9 doesn't have it. And uh, this is the Nova 9 with night mode on. And in comparison now again, we can see almost no difference at all. Uh, when it comes to this. Uh, then uh, another um, capture of the ultra wide angle where we can see the ultra wide angle just like as the main camera is brightening up things. Uh, we can see also that we have a slightly brighter field of view on the Honor 50 and uh, for the sake of it uh, because I saw this mm, uh, car the Challenger parked um, and I had to take a photo as well. You can see that the uh, Nova 9 has a brighter exposure again, slightly different field of view again because of the uh, yeah, different field of view that the this, uh, cameras have. We have a bit more darker exposure here and uh, yeah, a bit lighter here and you can see that I think there is a bit more detail on the Nova 9 shot. Uh, you can see it maybe here like the, the uh, yeah 
you can see it's smoothed out all these little uh, ditches and uh, dents on the on the um, um, on the sign here uh, so we have more details definitely on the Nova 9 and to focus on this little detail there are three figures uh, inside of this car so I try to like zoom in two times zoom shot and here you can see that the Nova 9 is doing a worse job than the Honor 50 again so zoom shots here 10 times zoom even and the Honor 50 definitely wins here this category as well and then again one last time a shot with the ultra wide angle to see what's going on with the ultra wide angle on the nova 9 because i couldn't believe it and here it looks as bad as it looked before it looks almost like they they didn't have color and painted it in as you can see here it's a yellow car completely yellow dhl yellow on a 50 it's a yellow car granted this looks completely orange so dark too dark exposure i would say on the honor 50 like we had in all the other shots as well but at least it got the the whole car in the same color tone um which on the nova 9 it looks really like someone painted it in like the color has to be painted in all these colors are so muted also the red here in the in the signs is like i don't know what's going on with the nova 9 what the post process because at first it looks nice on the phone but then the post processing it's kicking in and no matter if you have ai disabled or not and it's ruining the shot basically so uh huawei has to fix the nova 9 as ultra right angle for colors because it's like uh, even if you choose a different uh, color filter it's uh, unrealistic and also hdr kicked in probably on the honor 50 because we have some ghosting here as well so yeah the ultra wide angle i think only usable on the honor 50 right now in terms of uh, photos and uh, yeah that is basically everything what i have to say about photos so highest quality selfie video on the honor now on the nova 9 that is and it's illuminating the screen for the selfie video i'm recording in 4k 30 frames per second and as you might hear i'm using the internal microphone this is why you hear some cars passing by and uh, yeah i'm standing here where the light is when i go a little bit to the darkness my face should be still illuminated because uh, yeah the screen is illuminating uh, this very nicely which is i think a nice uh, additional feature if you want to do some selfie stuff in the dark uh, or selfie vlog in the dark um, all possible on the huawei nova 9. i don't have an option to zoom out here uh, or anything so this is what you get with the nova 9. now the honor 50s front-facing camera also with its illuminated uh, display to uh, brighten up my skin a little bit and i'm standing under a lamp again so under the light here and uh, using the internal microphone this one has a wider angle of view i can also go to one time even in the dark and then i get roughly the same that i had with the huawei nova 9 but uh, this is the wide angle that you usually have and uh, this is how it looks like and i don't see the camera this is why i'm looking at myself uh, i just can guess the camera hole is there somewhere so uh, this is only 1080p 30 frames per second you cannot go to 4k 30 here i did not want to go to uh, 1080p 60 which is also possible just because it would be like a darker exposure than because yeah double the uh frame rate basically so yeah this is uh 1080p uh 30 frames per second i think in stabilization they are quite okay and for an evening vlog uh it's just like seven o'clock right now <laughs> so it's not even so late here it's quite dark in winter times so uh it's quite okay isn't it and this is now 4k with the main sensor of the honor 50 4k 30 uh, in the darkness nothing can illuminate me right now because the display is on the other side i'm using the main camera if i walk to the dark you might see it's getting pretty grainy and pretty dark probably my face also not exposed so much so with the main camera is it also possible to use it for vlogging in the dark i think in theory it should because larger sensor bigger pixels should gather more light a little bit or should take in more light but uh, in this case i think the illumination on the front screen makes more sense for 
yeah, illuminating your face and being better for vlogging in the dark or in the night. So this is the Honor 50. Let's switch to the Nova 9. And now 4K 30 on the Nova 9. Does the RYYB sensor work its magic and illuminate my face a little bit or make gather more light, be a little bit more, uh, be a little bit better even. I think I think it has a slightly edge also in sensor size, but it's just like 0, 0.0 inch. So it's like very, very hard to figure out which one is better. So night vlogging with the main camera, is it working or is it not working? How is uh, the stabilization colors, if you see any? And uh, yeah, now the lamp here. And uh, yeah, how's it working? Uh, do we get a um, better vlogging experience with the main camera of the Nova 9 than on the Honor 50? What do you think? Let's compare the camera software of them both. On the right we have the Honor 50, on the left we have the Nova 9. And what we want to see here is first of all the difference in zoom slider. So if I hold it with one hand like this, you can see I have everything handy uh, that I can use with one hand. So I have my zoom slider on the Nova 9 here that I can just simply use to switch between the zoom levels. I have my shutter button and I have the various modes I can switch to. On the Honor 50, however, I also have my modes and the shutter button, but I don't, I cannot reach with my thumb the zoom button. So what I have to do is do second hand and then uh, use this to zoom in and zoom out. This is the major difference that you can see here in uh, user interface. This is the old UI that um, Emotion UI or Huawei device is also used and it's still there with uh, the new uh, Magic UI on the Honor 50. So hopefully they will update this as well and make it more clever. When it comes to modes and uh, everything you can see that basically we have the same thing. We have night view here night view here we have an aperture mode here on the uh, honor 50 we have portrait portrait here the aperture mode is missing here we have the normal photo mode of course the normal photo mode as well we have a video mode a video mode here as well we have beauty effects here on both of them in video mode we have of course zoom options we have the vlogging mode or multi-video mode, basically the same thing. It allows us to use a front and back camera at the same time. And if I go come into picture, you can see here, this is the back camera, this is the front camera. We have different styles here that we can choose. We have story modes. We have this here as well. Uh, it is here. Let me start playing something. And, uh, this is the vlog mode again. We have the same here. Story modes where it tells us different stories. Go out of here. Basically the same thing. Uh, nothing much beauty mode. Beauty mode as well. Not much of a difference. Under more we have several different options here. Uh, maybe I can get it to rotate this way. So we can compare a little bit. We have a pro mode and a pro mode. The thing about the pro mode is that this is um, only for photos on the Honor 50 and on the Nova 9 we have the Pro Mode also for video. We have a video button where we can switch to and then we can also set those very things here like even shutter speed to a fixed rate which is pretty awesome to have this. Then when we take a look at we have slow motion here which is missing completely from the Honor 50. For some reason you don't have you have time lapse but you don't have slow motion and here we have a slow motion button and we can configure the slow motion to uh, the various different speeds like 960 frames per second which probably will switch to a resolution uh, that is a little bit smaller and uh, then we have 240 frames per second and 120 frames per second and this option is compl completely missing from the on a 50 we have time lapse option that yeah doesn't have any the settings basically it's doing this automatically um, then we have the aperture mode here so it is in the carousel on the honor 50 here this is a separate mode under more we have moving picture option which allows us to create a photo here it tells you exactly what it is moving picture so it is a picture basically where it 
takes like a few seconds uh, to shoot which is a pretty nice option here and i don't see this uh maybe it's in the photo mode no i don't see this at all in the honor device on the honor device uh, then we have stickers we have stickers there as well we have time lapse time lapse modes let's check if we see a difference okay here we have the explanations always we have here no configuration option at all for time lapse we have only like an explanation that tells us what to do but there's no nothing that we can configure we can go into the options here but these are the normal options not for the time lapse mode we cannot configure anything in time lapse mode on the honor 50 it's just automatically and here on the nova 9 we have the auto button but we can also configure this like to various different speeds like 90 300 600 1800 mm, we can configure this or let it auto or do other things or go to even pro mode and set up things here which is yeah it's a night and day difference especially for people who like to take time lapses to have such uh, high configurability then we have super macro mode we also have a super macro mode here we have a high res mode and a high res mode 50 megapixel and here it's 108 megapixel again we can see this here 50 megapixel on the top there you can see 50 and i have the option to go into ai 50 megapixel or 50 megapixel without ai uh, where i can shoot here i don't have any option for this just the super uh, high resolution mode then we have story creator here again uh, and we have story here again as well that's basically it both have a download button with not much in there stickers and documents document scanner stickers scanner that we know already so nothing really new and fancy about this so in general the ui is a bit more modern on the nova 9 and has more options especially when it comes to professional options like pro mode for video pro mode for time lapse and we have slow motion which is completely missing on the honor 50. one cool feature that the honor 50 has it can record via bluetooth headsets like the freebuds pro that i have in my ears right now you might hear a little bit of wind going on so this is like a little bit of an issue but this is a cool feature for vlogging and together with the main lens that has like this little bit wider field of view i think this might be very very good for vlogging however the freebuds pro can also be used with the nova 9 and i think the nova 9 produces a slightly higher audio quality out of the freebuds pro because yeah, both huawei products and they can communicate a little bit better uh, you don't have the option on the nova 9 to go into the super microphone mode that the freebuds pro or the freebuds 4 support at least in the ai live app i don't see it on the nova 9 but this is i think a game changer and it's i don't know why huawei and honor are not marketing this on the global market for vlogging it's so much nicer just have your earbuds in and have good audio quality um, the only issue is when wind comes it gets a little bit like of yeah wind noise inside and there's no good wind filter that can compensate this but this quality is pretty awesome and pretty good and good enough for vlogging i would say and uh, yeah if huawei would or honor would market it marketing uh, the marketing team would notice that and market this also on the global market it would uh, yeah open the eyes of some people probably that are fiddling with microphones and external sound and uh, adapters and so on that i'm usually doing as well um, by the way if you want to get those freebuds pro microphones wind protective you can see one of my videos that i will link up there probably on the eye and you can check out how to make them wind protected with a little bit of foam and a wind protector or a little dead cat or did dead kitten i would say that you can use for uh, wind protection and uh, yeah nice get a nice little vlogging setup what do you think about this feature and which one does it better the nova 9 or the honor 50 and just for the sake of it this is the huawei mate 40 pro that has this 22 kilohertz up microphone mode on the freebuds pro that you can use and this is how it will sound like if it uses the highest quality possible on 
those earbuds and uh, hope there's not so much wind and wind noise and uh, yeah the quality is i think top notch and i really like to have this feature also on mid-range devices so huawei please build it in onto the nova 9 as well i think it is so only pure software uh, because bluetooth support is built in with the chip and the chip should support this feature as well um, would be bad if it's on the kirin uh, chip feature so please uh, bring it also to the nova 9 and uh, honor maybe also to your honor 50 as well so which of those two phones is the clear winner in terms of photography and videography and cameras in general I would say I prefer the Nova 9 a little bit more because of the colors and because of the videos that are a notch over the Honor 50. But what about photos? And here I think it is edge to edge and here sometimes the Honor 50 has an edge over the Nova 9, especially when it comes to zoom shots, then the Honor 50 is clearly better than the Nova 9, which is very interesting, but 108 megapixels are really cropped in better than just 50 megapixels that you can clearly see so what do you think write it down in the comment section and this is basically everything for this video and comparison between the nova 9 and the honor 50 i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye